over 40,000 temples in Bangkok, and today we are going to the most famous ones, located right here in Bangkok. The ones we're going to are the Grand Palace, which has the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, then we're going to Wat Po, and somehow crossing the river to get to Wataroon. Thankfully, a really sweet local has offered to come with us, and it's already been really nice because I don't even know how to get there. <laughs> we're just gonna follow her and hopefully we'll end up there. <laughs> She's gonna be our chaperone. We have a chaperone with us today. We're off to go meet with her right now, and I think take the metro over to the Grand Palace. Ooh. We hope that you're going to help with the Thai pronunciation because we're like messing every word up. Where are we going today? What is it? <laughs> so we are headed to the Grand Palace today, right? Yeah. And then Wat Po? Wat Po. They made those pretty easy for foreigners. I think I got those down. I think you got it pretty good. And so how are we getting there? How are we going to get there? Yeah, yeah. And we're going to get together. We're going to go either by metro, by train, or by horse and buggy. She's like, just follow me. All right, so we are headed to the Grand Palace first. Let's go. All right. <laughs> we're following you, Mother Goose. <laughs> so we are starting at, what is it, Sukhumvit? Sukhumvit? How do you say that? <laughs> she doesn't even know what I'm saying. We're starting at that one to the left. That one. Sukhumvit. Sukhumvit. <laughs> I thought that was sounded pretty close. Mm, Suck and bit. Not Sukumwit. even close. <laughs> Sukumwit. Sukumwit Road. Sukumwit Station. That's what I said. <laughs> what station are we going to? Sanam Chai? Yeah. I got that one. Sanam Chai Station. Sanam Chai. I nailed it. <laughs> same thing. GPS lost signal. <laughs> She's recalculating. <laughs> Maybe exit number one. Can't remember. Oh, you got it. You got it. Uh, I think our GPS is working. Connected again. <laughs> <laughs> I have been given a hat. She thinks it looks good on me, at least that's what she says. But we've just made it to the Grand Palace and judging by the perimeter that we just had to go around, it's pretty grand. And it's but definitely a palace. It looks really nice. This is a nice area of Bangkok. It's kind of refreshing to get out of the area that we're in. And I think inside is the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. It's so cool to see all the different parts of Bangkok and Thailand. It's so much fun. I'm having a blast. Honestly, exploring the cities are some of my favorite days that I've had in Thailand. So, <laughs> to stand up. <laughs> what do you think? It's so hot right it's, now. When was the last time you went to the Grand Palace. It's okay. It's very nice. It's and very beautiful. nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm excited to see it. Yes, I did. Is there any interesting fact about it that you know? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So Bob and I are here at the Grand Palace. In order to get in, you have to buy a ticket. That is a pretty steep price for what we paid so far. Each ticket's 500 baht, so for me and Bobby to get in, it was 1,000 baht. But with your ticket, there are a couple included extras. One of which that Bobby and I are really excited about is a traditional mass dance that you can see at the Royal Theater, which is right down the street from the Grand Palace. Now, there's also another included museum. I think it's a museum of art and textiles. But on that note, Let's use these tickets for good use and head on over to the Grand Palace, babe. Another thing to note, if you visit here, as of now, I guess, March 2023, you do need a mask. They have them for purchase. I haven't needed one of these for a while, but uh, finally something to <laughs> shut Charlie up. It actually looks kind of cool in that, to be honest with you. You said you were jealous of that guy having a mask. Well, look at that mask. I'm jealous of that mask, man. Thankfully, our tour guide brought an extra mask for us. <laughs> she hooked us up. Thank you for the mask. Kakun <laughs> Krop. All right, you ready to go inside? <laughs> Tell you what, 
Those must have been some giant steps if that's just the model. <laughs> they had some big people back then, maybe some Bigfoot, you know, something going on, man. <laughs> Pimp my ride back then, they had pimp my elephant. <laughs> when I first saw this, and to this very moment, I am resisting the urge to not sit on one of these. They look like such a comfortable stool, but I'm not sure that's what you're supposed to do to them. I'd be in a nice little spot, you know, sit down, hang out with these folks a little bit, and see what's going on. People watch. Light. It's on. Alright. <laughs> Charlie and his bonsais. You miss your bonsais? I do miss my bonsais. I wish I could have like a portable bonsai garden, you know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be the best. I take selfies like an old man. We just finished going to the Grand Palace. What did you guys think? It was pretty grand. The architecture at the Grand Palace was more intricate than I think pretty much any other temple that we've been to so far, I think it would be fair to say. But one of my favorite parts of the entire experience was the little bonsai exhibit. I had so much fun walking through there. And there's something so beautiful about nature. No matter how hard man can work, it can never overcome the beauty of nature, I think. They had a replica of a temple in Cambodia, I think Angkor Wat, a really famous temple, which was kind of cool to see. And I loved all the demon guardians that they had, yeah. like <laughs> protecting the Emerald Buddha inside. Unfortunately, you couldn't film inside the temple of the Emerald Buddha, but it was really nice to get in there. Everybody was sitting down and praying, and it was really beautiful. That was definitely the center of the whole Grand Palace experience. What do you think? Okay, today is very nice for you to come to Thailand. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, and it comes with a free show that I think we're gonna see, but first, we need some smoothies. Smoothie time, baby. We need smoothies and shade. Do you want a coconut thing? Yeah. yeah. Follow you. <laughs> We've got level four tourists over here making hats out of the brochures. Quick, get that shot! I told the bus driver to stop here just for this. Look how comfy these seats look. <laughs> So we just finished up watching the show. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to do any photography or film anything, but it was a lot of fun. It was very colorful. They had a little screen that told you the history of what was going on. So where we were standing for that shot was actually Wat Po. It's famous for the reclining Buddha. And after that, we went to Wat Arun, which was actually our favorite temple in Bangkok. I'm making that into a separate vlog, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. If it's already out, I'll put a link to it in the description, along with a playlist to all of our Thailand videos if you want to check that out. But either way, thanks for watching.